back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. So today we have Austin Brewing's 45er mm -hmm. IPA. Uh, the bottle is open because we just finished up with its round in our beer bracket. If you have not watched that, go ahead and click up there and somewhere <laughs> yeah, here. It'll come up. Um, this was a loser, but that doesn't mean it's a bad beer. No. It just means it went up against a better beer. Yep. <sighs> I know. There's Carbon. a lot of carbonation on this thing. Um, if I remember correctly, and this is going off memory here, so probably not good. Um, it was 7%. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. But I think the IBUs were right in the 70 range, weren't they? If I remember. Yep, 70 on dot. Look at that. So, yeah, so it's a 7% beer with 70 IBUs. Yep. Big head. Yeah. I, I think it's overcarbed, even if you watched um, the round one, game three uh, with it when I first poured it, it kind of shot up. So, not a surprise. Off white head, small and medium bubbles, two fingers, one finger, whatever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Color. It mine's cloudy. It is. Um, it's got some sediment in there, yep. which I'm okay with, because um, you know a lot of times you get these big IPAs right. or anything above 30 IBUs, you're gonna have some of that hop right. sediment. Um, but Yellow yours, color. I think you got the bottom, so you got yeah. a little darker than I do. Yep. Um, but mine is, I can see kind of through it, yeah, but not see your not much. Yeah, I can see the outline, but that's about it. So, smell. It, it's like a, not a big pine saw lemon, but it's, it's, it's got there. that pine, it's got that lemon, and it just comes off like lemon pine saw. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Um, I would have maybe thrown a different hop in there to... At the uh, dry hop or something. To... If anything, I can say this one doesn't show off the malt, which I'm no. a fan of. Right. So I would rather have the lemon pine saw than the malt. Sure. Yep, I agree. Even though I don't want to drink something I'm cleaning my floors with. <laughs> sure. I'm just curious, like, you know, if they only use malts and hops then it's got to be something with their yeast strain that's making that just a little sour. Like, I don't I don't know where that sour is coming from. Now, if they put, like, lemon zest in there, then I'd be like, okay, I get right. it. But uh, I, I don't There's... know where that sour is coming from. It is interesting, though. It, it's not it's not bad, um, but it's like it, it just, it's unexpected, I guess. Okay. So, because we don't look anything up before we do these, no. we've never read the side until right now. And we don't want to be biased. Right. West Coast style IPA with hints of pear, grapefruit, tropical fruit, lemon, and 2.5 pounds of hops per barrel. So that makes a little more sense, though, but <laughs> with the grapefruit and the lemon, right? Those yeah. are going to be two things yeah. that I are can definitely sour. taste. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but... The question is, how do they get that? Because you can use, uh, is it El Dorado? Is that one of the ones that has a lemon? Could be. Yeah. Well, lemon drop. Well, and lemon drop, yeah. right. Um, but, but it says lemon. So my guess is they're using lemons. Hence a pear, grapefruit, tropical fruit, lemon. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe it is all because it doesn't say brewed with grapefruit, lemon, all that, that it is. But, yeah, it, I would almost agree with Steve. If it's all from hops, it has to be the yeast that's giving it the sour. It's just a little sour. Yeah. And, and I'm curious, though, because, like, it, I don't know if that's what they were going for or if... Um, you know, maybe we got a bad batch. I don't know. Right. Um, but it it's almost like you liked Lining Kugel Summer Shandy, and we're like, we're not going to put any sweetness in there. We're just going to keep the tartness. Right. And so instead of being like a smooth, easy, you're kind of, it's like a lemon, you're drinking right. a lemon drop. Right. That's what you're yep. doing. Yep. Adding a whole bunch of pine in the back. 
just to balance it out. I don't think it's bad. No. I would go 3.5 out of 5. Um, it's hard to say because I, I do think of this as like a lemon shandy, some summer shandy beer mm-hmm. in the as most of it, but that pine kind of throws it off a little bit. Yeah. yeah, so it's not a shandy. Don't go thinking this is a shandy. No, you're going to you're gonna, Yeah, you're going to get that pine. But yeah, 3.5 out of 5 is what I would go with for this one. I'll just go with 3 because, okay. like, to me, it's not my cup of tea. I would drink it. Right. Um, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it, but it's... It's not light like that shandy. I get what you're saying. Yeah. It's not light like that shandy. So, but it, it's got some of the characteristics. Yeah. It's got the main characteristics of a shandy, but it's got off branches of an IPA. Yes. It, the West Coast, I, I don't know if I would say West Coast because you're not getting that malt. Yeah. You're getting more of that pine, but maybe in a standard some breweries profile of west coast and it's not a hitch in the face no no hot level either yeah it's just it's very okay, subtle here you go you got it's an ipa yeah <laughs> so yeah it, i would say this is a good one to pick up and try just to see what you get out of it yeah um but we both agree even from the beer bracket to now you get there's a sour aspect of this, but they don't talk about it at least on the bottle. Yeah. So who knows? Yeah. Because I mean, with usually with lemon, you you get like a freshness to it right. versus the tartness. I right. Guess. So yeah. weird yeah. beer. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time.